On this video, we're going to talk about locking and customizing the columns on your inventory page. This is a new feature that we just built out. Essentially, what we can do is how the old system worked is you know you can create custom dashboards and you can turn on and turn off various columns and you can move them around. Uh, that is still totally accurate. Of course, you can filter all of your data here on the dashboards. Go and check out the dashboards video down here. Just type in the word dashboards and search for it. And there's a full explanation on dashboards. But in terms of the columns themselves, we've added a new feature where you can actually customize the width of the column. So let's say you want to shrink this. Uh, let's say you want to lock some columns. Like, for example, you want your total FBA stock. We're going to shrink this down and then I want to lock the columns, where it'll lock it from this point, and then you can scroll and it will scroll underneath or behind that locked column. Um, and if you want to unlock the column, you just go back up here and you can unlock it. Uh, I do want to give you a warning that when you unlock one column, it's just gonna go back to the next column. So for example, if I lock it from this point, and I'm scrolling, if I want to unlock all of the columns, I actually have to go back to the very first column and unlock all of them, and then none of them will be locked anymore. <clears throat> now it just scrolls like it used to. We also have some different features in here, like you can sort from ascending, descending, and you can also do auto width, and auto width will just readjust it back to its full size, the way it was at the beginning. So for example, if you wanted to do descending FBA inventory, it will pre-sort or it will sort everything from the highest uh, on down. And of course the product name is short for some of these products so we can always go, go ahead and do this. Notice how this one gets really big. So then I try to adjust that by shrinking this one down and then I have to adjust and that gets crazy. So rather than doing all of that, you can just click on auto width it will adjust everything back to its original size from that point to the right. The other cool thing is you can actually drag columns and move them around. Just give it a second to populate and you can actually adjust their order right here from your dashboard. And then lastly, when you're scrolling down, you'll sometimes see this where you see all these lines as you're scrolling. Um, that's basically the, the auto loader. So it's loading only the images and only the data that you, that you need to see at one time. So just give it a second and it will auto populate as it's loading. You can also now adjust up to 500 lines per page. It used to be, I think, 50 or 100. Uh, definitely a reminder here that you need to save your dashboard, very important. So we're in the all active products dashboard and all you'd have to do is click on this dot, dot, dot button and go to save dashboard and it will save those settings. If you're creating a new dashboard, simply click add as new dashboard give it a name, save it as a favorite, and it will stay up here. If you just save it normally, it will show up on the drop-down menu over here. So don't forget to save your dashboards. So those are kind of some of the new features there. Um, get used to playing with it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.